Hi guys, Valerie here. I'm going to do a quick haul. Um, well, maybe not so quick, but I'm going to try to make it quick. Um, I got a bunch of stuff from, well not a bunch, I got some stuff from MAC and then I also got some drugstore products that I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, I'll just get started. I got some Hello Kitty for MAC things. I know I'm a little behind, but um, yeah. I got the Fun and Games Beauty Powder Blush. I've been obsessing over blushes lately. I'm sure you guys have seen a million swatches of this. I don't need to show you. But it's a really pretty apricot color with some shimmer. I love it. Love it. Love it. The packaging is adorable. Um, excuse my nails. Some of them broke off today. Um, I also got the Hello Kitty for MAC lipstick in Cutester. And this is officially my favorite lipstick. Not only is it Hello Kitty, which is freaking adorable, but the color is so beautiful. It's like a pinky nude color with a very light shimmer, but it it's not glittery where it feels grainy on your lips. And it's just the prettiest color ever. And the reason it took me so long to get around to buying it is because it had all, it's been on my wish list forever. And I've been trying to um, swap for it on Makeup Alley or buy it on eBay or something because everyone says it's sold out. And uh, my MAC is not sold out at all. Um, my makeup artist there said that, because um, where I live it's, I guess, predominantly older women that go to this particular mall and they're just like scared of the Hello Kitty stuff. So there was tons. So I'm so excited. I think I might go buy a backup of the Cute Star Lipstick because I love it so much. Also got a Dazzle Glass. This is in Spanking Rich. And I have it on right now. Didn't know how I was going to like it because it kind of looks like something you'd wear like in middle school. It's super pink and sparkly, but it goes on really sheer and really, really beautifully. Okay, also, this isn't really a makeup item, but it's a tool. I got some new tweezers at a little outlet store today, and they were $1.79, and they're from Beauty Basics, and they're really, really sharp and pointy, and I've been wanting a pair like this to get the little ones that don't come out, so I'm excited about those. Also, I got the Lash Stiletto Mascara that everyone's been talking about. I love the tube. It's so cute. Um, I didn't really have high hopes for this mascara. I usually don't have high hopes for drugstore mascaras um, in general. But, I don't know. I thought I'd give it a try. It was, uh, they had a special on them at Walgreens last week. There's the brush. It's tapered. And, uh, whoops. Yeah. It kind of smells funky. I don't care for the smell. I know some people like it. But, um, yeah, it smells really strong, like like mascara. Anyway, so I didn't have high hopes for this mascara, but I decided, well, let me take advantage of the deal and get it anyway. And they were out of the darkest black shade. They just sold out. So I got it in brownish black, because I've been wanting a brownish uh, tinted mascara. And now I kind of want to go hunt down the dark black one, because I love it. It totally elongates your lashes just as the advertisements say that it should. And um, I don't know what's in it but it's supposed to, um, the formulation is also, not only the brush but the formulation is supposed to elongate your lashes and make sure that they stay. And I find that it really curls my lashes, which um, I've been looking for a mascara to do that. I showed you guys in a video before that I was using the Rimmel, um, I forget what it's called, I'll have to post it um, down below, but it's the curly one with the weird, the purple tube with the weird brush, and that thing hurts <laughs> when you put it on if you get the wand too close to your lashes. It's really sharp and it really hurts. And you know, it curls and all, but then I have to layer it with the telescopic to make them long and curly, and this does both. Recommend this for sure. Go out and buy that right now. <laughs> you don't have to buy it right now, but you know what I'm saying. Um, okay. Also, I got this from Makeup Alley. I don't really need to show you guys. But I got an OPI nail polish, and it is in Tickle My Francie, which is like this 
lilac gray color. I like that. Also on Makeup Alley, I got this, what's it called? Adoring Carmine brush set. This is from Max Holiday Collection last year and I totally missed out on it. And so I hunted it down on Makeup Alley and traded with this wonderful swapper, Dolores. Thanks Dolores if you're watching. And it comes with this little bag and it comes with these brushes. I'm sure you guys have already seen them all, but I'm excited because I've been wanting them forever. Um, the MAC 187, the 194 concealer brush, the 190 foundation brush, and the 168 tapered brush. And I'm really excited for them. And they're so cute. I love the little red handles. And it also comes with this uh, red barrel bag. So I'm totally excited to use those. They're adorable. And she sent me three of these Maybelline Mineral Power blushes. And I love the Mineral Power concealer, so I'm kind of excited to try the blushes. Um, Original Rose, Classic Mauve, and Soft Mauve. So when I use these, I'll let you guys know how I like them. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Oh yeah. I also got a Jane Be Pure Mineral Blush, and I got it in Satin Rose, and I love it. Um, it has really good staying power, and it's, yeah, I like it. It's a pretty color. You should check it out. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. Don't forget to keep checking back, because um, so I'm going to have a, sub a 100 subscribers contest. So stay tuned.